Hello, Goranges are on view, this time for our sale on the 24th of October. So we've shown you quite a lot of jewellery and silver recently, so we'll have a poke about in the smalls this time and then we'll wander over to the warehouse. So what's in the sale this week? Uh, it's got the some of the re-offers, unsold lots from the fine sale, so that always gives it a little bit of a boost. And then Dan was saying to me yesterday, there's quite a few other interesting things that sort of come in. A lot of items in that sort of two to three, three to four hundred pound price level that perhaps aren't quite valuable enough to be worth holding for the fine sale, but but kind of boost the weekly sale and make it stand out a bit more. So what could those items be? Indeed. Well, rather well-respected local glass collector, a chap called Alan Milford, uh, passed away recently, and some of his glass collection or stock in trade has come in for sale. Uh, a nice mixture here, such as lot 479, looks to me to be George III, nice facet cut stem, unusual, petal shaped foot with the, the sort of lobed base. Uh, same source, this rather nice, I guess, I haven't looked up what it's been catalogued as, but I'm guessing sort of Silesian or thereabouts, not English. Uh, really good in engraving there. Pretty. Uh, have we got a date? We've got a number, but I don't think we've got a date on it, but it, in, inscribed in German there, but nice looking thing. Um, the, I don't know, can you pick that up, that figure? Yeah, yeah, and then the nice sort of military trophies below. Mm. So yeah, nice looking thing that. Uh, next to it, coal painted bronze, lot 480, the hippo. Oh, look at his feet. Aren't Lovely, they they're great, aren't <laughs> they? Uh, he doesn't appear to have anything like a Bergman mark, but he is of the period without a doubt. Got most of the original finish on. I think the estimate's two to 300. Next to that, bit of mice and if mice and your bag, 478, the boy drinking from a bowl with the toy horse at his feet and it's lost its legs, please note. Hence, perhaps the two to 300 estimate and the fact that it's in the weekly sale. And there's a bronze up here. Philosopher, by the looks of things. It's um, cast by Barbedienne, the founder, Fondeur, it says there, with a further um, stamp reproduction mechanique, it says down there. Um, quite nicely made again, lot 473, that one. Further glasses, coloured stem with That's Jacobite style roses, um, a period glass, possibly later engraving. I don't know what Dan said on that. Nice sort of little flaw in the rim there, sort of naturally occurring. Mm -hmm. That's 483. Some Mousman, 485. Mm -hmm. Some Cloisonne, 486. Some nice bits. Nice bits, further, mm -hmm. always Chinese. Uh, 495, look at that, that sort of wall mounting vase. Is it a proper vase? Well, it, yes, it is. One could use it. Huh, gosh. That's four ninety five. Right. Uh, oh, this caught her eye. Four sixty eight. <laughs> catalogued as um, cold painted pottery, German, nineteenth century. Catalogued as erotic. Well, don't know who catalogued it. What turns them on? But what's going to make this erotic? Well, we look up the skirt, and there's peekaboo. So I guess that's. I, I'm not sure that's erotic. I think that's more uh, just Weird. amusing, <laughs> humorous. Um, <laughs> But maybe some people find, I don't think her find that erotic. Is particularly... We are not amused. No, get Queen out Victoria. from underneath yes. my so skirt. His expression is rather good. Yes, so he's kind of fun, isn't he? Yes. That's 4.68. That's 80 to 120, uh, isn't 80 it? 80 yeah. right. These are delicately done, Japanese, not hugely old, hand painted, very fine, very light wood. There's a host of other things behind the counter of all types and descriptions, including 554, this Arabic. Dagger, typically the blades are very rarely of any finesse, but um, the silver mounts are usually better, uh, and that's definitely of some age. There's other carvings behind there. There are various oh, porcelain she... pots. These um, veggies are rather fun, You like these, yep. Yeah. So uh, these are lots. Cabbage. Five, six, seven. They're a real offer. You didn't spot them the first no, time round. No, I didn't. Round. They were in at 8120, so they're not even going to be in at that much next time. Mm. Not so keen on the rather well, crude no, show, flowers. No, show, show me cabbage. Cabbage, there we go. There's the cabbage. Bird. It's rather fun, and if you take the top off, yeah, it's nice, isn't there it? There we go. Yeah, it's kind of cute, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, quite nicely I made. Want them all. A few chips, please note. There's a cauliflower there. Yes. There's some, um, yeah, and the turnips. So there we go. Um, past the silver section, the usual sort of mixture. Quickly, not a bad claret jug. Um, Victorian commemorating the seven mile walking race of 1865 done in 59 minutes 10 seconds 
suspect we can improve on that these days with That's modern sure. aerobic activity. Uh, and next to it, um, three Guild of Handicraft oh, nice. spoons. They are, aren't they? Look, 803. Super. Um, pure so silver. The, yes, pure silver, fully hallmarked. Um, not the golden age. More recent ones than the sort of the golden age of Guild of Handicrafts would be 1900, 1920, I suppose. Whereas these are more recent manufactured, but, that's they're, but they're nicely done. That that's a mouse. That's a mouse with a tail. It could be a rat with a tail that long. Oh, they're great. They're fun, aren't they? They're yeah. nice. Seal top type spoons. Great so they're kind present. of cute. Great Christmas present. Sorry, I said Christmas. Christmas is coming. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, round here, what else have we got? Oh, this lady. You said about this lady. Okay, this is from something Dan's been dealing with, uh, a, a job he's done. He and a lot of them came from very Flowers East. It's very high quality photograph. It does have sort of smudgy thing there on it. It's a bit disappointing. But 651, uh, you're yeah, afraid you have to look it up to see who it's by. Uh, from a series called something like the the Outcasts or something along those lines. 650, the same. Nice colours in this. Same source. Yeah. Um, there we go, 650. And here you've got all the labels up for the Flowers East Gallery. David Heffer, the uh, artist. He does book, he does record. Um, tends to go study into Study of, of Piranesi, does that say? Uh, it says study for Piranesi. Oh, for So Piranesi, Piranesi being the um, architectural designer. So ah. I suppose it's a sort of influence on that. Okay. Uh, which one should we go down? Where will we find? Um, we found this, this didn't go in the fine cell. <laughs> we had some comment because I'm not sure too many people wanted to buy a bronze of someone wringing a turkey's neck. Um, but Christmas is coming. Oh, no, that's... <laughs> uh, so, uh, lot 285, lovely quality. What is a yes. ton? Really, really nice thing. This is uh, fun, though, isn't it? And this it? is lovely. That's yes. rather smart. I like that. Yes. That's uh, lot 283. That's, that's nice. Yeah, re-offer, Art Deco. And again, why did it not sell? Well, maybe it's just in the casting, not quite fine enough. Look, right. those toes are not brilliant. But it's still, it's, it's a She's lovely fun. design. It's a yes. nice thing. Next to it, not a re-offer from the fine cell, but lot 282. Nice wooden... Book stand, lectern there, we turn it round, you've got the telescopic height adjustment as well as the angle, which is slightly floppy and needs tightening up. Then let's go round here. Oh, I do like this. I think this is great. Three, eight, six. I was Look surprised at this. you didn't mention that earlier. That is I an thought absolute you would. Absolute stonker. I can't isn't get it? it in the camera, and it's so big. There we are. Hilde. It's got a label, it's French. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice. French and stylish. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 386. Joe's been busy making glass this week, uh, <laughs> oh, churning you, out um, White Friars glass, lot 341. And then you'll see masses of them throughout the sale. 384, further examples. Uh, 344, we continue. Uh, all different it shapes and sizes, it does go on. Yeah. Um, there's this sort of coffin shape down here, 379. Uh, so, yeah, a whole host of those. And then, obviously, pictures. We talked about these. Hawthorpe. Um, I think these are sweet. Yeah, they're nice. They're wood cuts. And he. this is the thing he did. Mostly flowers, occasionally other subjects. And they're always Primroses. popular. Primroses, spring and flowers. snowdrops. And snowdrops and crocuses, I think. Oh, crocuses. I would say so. Okay, yep. Um, reframed, nicely reframed. Quite collectible these days. They can often be a couple of hundred pounds each. Oh, that's lot 629. Mm, nice. Uh, over the way then, um, what else have you seen we like? Well, not particularly like, lap wings. Yeah, four, six, this three. is fine. You four, said six, three. this would have been in the fine side if it had a saucer. That's right. So immediately, look at this and these colours, this, this puce claret colour with the blue, one immediately thinks Vienna porcelain. Sometimes there's a yellow, a pale yellow that comes in with this fine gilding. So we've got the lid. And then a two-handled cup, which might well be called a chocolate cup. And then the key is these are usually hand-painted of the better period. They're hand-painted. So this is a hand-painted panel. Gosh. On the back, another one very finely done. And underneath, we have the title, Erato et Uterpe, on one side. And Endemione, on the other, with the Vienna, Be Vienna Beehive mark. Mm. So yes, saucer would have been nice. Detail is gorgeous. Detail is great, isn't yeah. it? And, and you, you get you know great big um, charges and things that make thousands of pounds. Right. Um, that's a nice thing, but sad that it's lost its saucer. And very hard to get the matcher because the saucer probably would have had little panels oh. uh, to, to reflect the same decoration. Don't know what that is. I think it's a glass a, dish or ashtray, but I, I was, was looking at this. I expected it to be a lot heavier. I was expecting it to be possibly heavier and signed, and I was looking at it yesterday thinking, what's going on with that? But 460, we'll have to look it up and discover. Or a soap dish. Could be. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
So further glass down the line, again, I suspect it's connected to the white prize. Oh, yes. Uh, receipt number, oh, I think it's nine. No, different receipt number, so not the same collection as the white prize. Uh, here's something expensive, lot 418, very expensive retail. Royal Crown Derby, Derby border pattern. And it's very expensive because? Because it's Royal Crown Derby and just look up where you could get it. You'd probably go to so Harrods or somewhere like that. Very expensive originally and therefore still retains some value. Right. Because if it's not bought by someone to use, it's bought by one of those companies that pr replace broken pieces. So uh -huh. when you drop your source boat, you go online and you know it costs you 350 quid to get a new one. I love um, the sauces on the coffee cups there. That's very detailed. Isn't yeah, it? the, the cans are... Down there. Oh, yeah, lovely. there's always a, the cans somehow, cans. coffee cans, coffee due cans. to the shape, they retain a more appeal, don't they, somehow? Yeah, One could sort like of those. feel a bit decadent having some coffee mm. in those, um, whereas perhaps the main tableware is, is less bit, bit enjoyable. Weird. You were mentioning um, 420, weren't you? 420, like I mentioned. Uh, yeah, these are bobbins, lace makers bobbins. Traditionally... Stop and think, 1855. Yeah, so nicely in a presentation case and someone's gone to the trouble of typing out the inscriptions that are upon them all because they roll around a, in a spiral round the bobbin. Made of bone um, and very much made as sort of uh, gift, uh, love tokens, I suppose. Hence these sort of comments interesting north crawley 1866 that stop one. and think 1855 um, elizabeth betts my dear sister there we go so dear yeah. i when this you see remember me there you are mm. yeah so kind of fun yeah. 420 always something different uh, yes there's a j in a case 423 um wow that's colorful isn't yes it? i pulled that Four, out two, when you were walking six. down the luster in that is luster. something like a bit of luster. yes we that. do that shimmers doesn't it what's it yes. say underneath gives you instructions how to Tobias clean it. Won? Tobias Harrison made it in Cumbria. It's quite a quite a pot that actually, isn't it's it? I think, yes. Yeah. That lovely Lo cheer lovely rim. Table. Yeah. Yes. Piece. Stick your oranges in it. Look good yeah. at Christmas, wouldn't it? Christmas, Christmas oh, is coming. Careful. Uh, and uh, I haven't broken anything yet. So let's go over to the warehouse and see what's in the warehouse. So what's in the warehouse this week? Well, how about some um, thickers? Trees, I think we can call these. They're um, exceeding plant name. Uh, they've actually got it on the bottom on the label saying Ficus. Uh, and you know, most of us have these perhaps in our houses or at one time or another. And these are particularly tall examples, as you can see. Uh, I would say this one is about 13, 14 feet tall. Oh, so Clifford, you're fibbing. You're three foot tall. You've, yeah. you've shrunk, haven't yeah. you? Anyway, lot uh, one, two, four, and one, two, five. They are enormous, market. aren't they? They are enormous. They would have been very expensive. Oh, do you know um, what? I can see jewels in them. Jewels. So they've been bejeweled. Bejeweled. Do you, do you see? Uh, oh, uh, that one. Yes, yeah, yes. Sparkly. So it was obviously some sort of party they were used for or something. Yeah. But um, only this one. I don't think the other one has come with bejeweling. They're, they're indoor, aren't they? They are indoor. So as far as I'm aware. A very. I know the. High climate's ceiling. getting warmer but yeah, yeah I, I think they're indoor Gosh. so what else can we find that's a curious start isn't yes. it i don't know if these are in the sale i can't see a number so we'll feature those at a later date yeah they're something um, aren't they pretty amazing aren't they yes so let's have a look what did you see uh oh well i like this little rocker you like this little charge rocker it's quite yeah, cute, it looks isn't it? to be 19th century in yeah. mahogany had some old repairs quite but one thing. two eight did have a hinged seat that appears to be I think you could locked. probably force it. Oh, or is it a loo? No, it is a, no it's commode. It's a potty? Yeah, it's a potty. Yeah, it's a oh, potty. that's so yeah, yeah, funny. Yeah. So oh. it's, it's, it seems to be sealed shut at the moment. Perhaps one could free it open. That adds a new meaning to potty what trade. Nine. Wow. We liked this because it said wow, didn't we, with the heart. W, heart, W, 1870, 1870, possibly of that date, possibly later added. It's elm, it's a lovely bit of timber. Um, it's in nice clean condition with a little candle box down this end. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, nice and clean. Not a bad, not light colour as well. It's mm. changed, doesn't it? Yes. Um, bed. Was this bed here before? I don't believe it was. Uh, Still 86. It's not up. sure. It's going to be less expensive now um, to have this, what looks to be, and is a reproduction brass. I'm, I'm, I'm standing here because I am um, totally. In, well, just interested in this number 84. It's sort of the oldest. What is it? It's Indian. Good grief. It's an Indian hardwood table that has probably been outside and therefore got weathered. Right. It's but very high. Yeah, and that's the problem, isn't it? 
So outside, it's got weathered, but because it's hard teak or similar, it's, it's tough as old boots and hasn't Gosh. rotted. Mm. The, the, the metal straps and hinges have rusted a bit. Um, but yeah, it's, it's what does one do with it? It's I don't know. But nice for potting. Yeah, in a potting oh, that's shed. true. Potting shed. Uh, that's Monty a lovely Don idea. doesn't have one of these yet. He yet. probably will Monty? have Friday. Um, Oh, I was just interested. But yeah, I mean, I, I suppose you could have it in the garden and have a nice display of pots yeah. and plants and things, but I don't you know. You think it's, it's been ever... outside, that's Definitely, why it's I'm like... Sure it's been... yeah. I think it was painted once as well. Yes, I can see so, that. Uh, yeah, that's mm. that. So Thank you. Carpets, always remember the carpets. One, one cast down one's eyes. Um, nice colours on that turning one. it over and seeing no lot ticket. Um, uh, this one is uh, one. lot 81. And that there's a whole feature of them always in the sale and have a look um we photograph them before we cover them in furniture so you can see them we also try and condition report them because uh they can look great in the house and then you lift it up and you find there's a tear or moth have got it or something so we, we try and have a look at those we always get condition reports you should get condition reports on everything but definitely get a condition report if you're looking at a carpet because uh, then um if we mislead you ha horrendous idea that we should do that but if we mislead you and say it's great and it turns out it's not in good condition then you can throw it back at us and we will refund you so behind you um, there are some quite fantastic yeah. arches aren't there in yeah, fact it's part of a three a lot wrought iron garden arches we say um i don't know what are these 50s 60s in date perhaps uh, lots 97 so they're going to stand you've got they're the, upright, the meters, uprights apparently. plus the arch so yeah. i'd say they're about there mm. Um, mm. and yeah if you're fancy doing a sort of rose bower or something like that and actually you, there's another one behind you there isn't is there? another one which is very similar slightly more weathered but actually looks to be very close in style and design so perhaps you could buy them all and have four yes that which would be good no doubt here's a whopping great bit of, no it's not it's two pine tables here's two Is pine it? tables there's a lot of together. tables yeah look like a big one we've still got the sign here for upper uh, wallingham so uh if upper wallingham's where you hail from uh, then then it's perfect down this way did you go down here leather chairs more garden furniture a sort of wake style serving table lot 90 in oak from the 1920s this very f interesting colour, this, isn't it? Look, 54. Yeah, I wonder if you put some um, wax on it, whether... No, I'm sure you put some on wax it. on it. Uh, yeah, um, I wonder if it would change colour feed. at all. Yes, leather, leather feet. feet. Mm. I don't think you'd ever get it back, because no. it's, it's rubbed away, but um, it's a reproduction chair, but it's, uh, it's got a bit of character. Look at this, 51. Look at this. Webb and Son, makers of Plymouth and Exeter, it Gosh. says. This lovely trunk mm. that I can't open because the chairs are close to it there we go yeah nice traveling trunk drop-in tray original interior oh, that's, that's great that's, that's rather lovely the leather yes. um is perhaps a little worn and that's no surprise yeah the straps gone there but still nice pair of arts and crafts chairs lot 50 look nice big um hammered big mm. studs on them yeah. brown leather original oak yeah not a bad model And there was something else you saw. I can't remember what it was. There was something over there, wasn't there? Nice Probably. So um, we're trying out a microphone for the first time, aren't yeah, we? Yes, so, we um, so we're hoping to goodness that you can be heard. So I can't say what I want to under my breath. <laughs> <taking away>. yeah. <laughs> How about some big lanterns? Lot 35. Oh, these are great, aren't they? These are big. Yeah. Huge. There we go. Look to be in uh, pretty good, ready to go condition. The labels on them look fairly recent, so I think those would be uh, up and running without too much trouble. Mm. So there we go, it, as ever, it's all here. If you want a very strange table lamp, lot five, come on down um, with the propeller base and then this sort of composite stem and yet a Corinthian capital, interesting mixture. Uh, as ever, there's always something interesting here. So come along and have that a look. That was the only thing that you mentioned that you no, might. No, lot four, yes, a nice French yeah, that was the only chest, other one. marble top. Yeah, I'll put it here. on. Yeah. So good. Right. Thank you very much for paying attention to all of my waffling on as usual and our comments. Uh, come and, along and see yourself. And do let us know if the microphone is working because there's people that message and say, yeah. we can't hear him. Get a microphone. Well, we've got one. So let's hope it's working. Absolutely. Let have us a good know. weekend, everybody. Thank you.